Hello and welcome to this video about binary search. Let's first look at the problem we want to solve. We have a sorted array with n elements. They could be integers, strings or some other data type. We also have a search element x, which is an element we want to search for in the given array. The output should be the index of x in the array or minus one if x is not in the array. So just to be clear, if our search element x is equal to 39, and this is the array we are searching in, the output should be 8 because 39 is at index 8. If we were searching for an element that is not contained in the array, for example 10, then the output should be minus 1. Binary search is an efficient algorithm to use for this problem. The algorithm uses a search interval with limits low and high, which are initially set to 0 and n minus 1, such that the search interval spans the entire array. Only elements within the search interval are considered by the algorithm. Elements outside the search interval are effectively eliminated. Next, we compare our search element x to the middle element and eliminate part of the search interval based on the comparison. The middle element has index mid, which is the average of low and high, rounding down in case we have an even number of elements in the search interval. When we compare x to the middle element, there are three cases to consider. If the middle element is equal to the search element x, as indicated by the green color, then we have found what we are looking for and we can return the index mid. In the second case, the middle element is smaller than x. The red color indicates that they are not equal. And since our array is sorted, then everything to the left of mid must also be smaller than x. And so we can eliminate that from the search interval. Similarly, if the middle element is greater than x, then every element to the right of mid must also be greater than x, and we can eliminate that from the search interval. In the last two cases, we are now left with a smaller search interval where we will continue the search until we either find x or everything is eliminated. Let's look at a full example of binary search. Our search element x is equal to 49, and this is the array we will be searching in. We start by comparing x to the middle element, which in this case is 40. 40 is smaller than 49, and therefore we can eliminate every element to the left. Now we have an even number of elements in the search interval, and the formula for the middle element says we should pick 57. 57 is greater than 49, so we can eliminate the right side. Now we have just two elements left in the search interval. The middle element is 45. 45 is smaller than 49, so we eliminate left. Now there's only a single element left in the search interval. The middle element is 49, and that is exactly our search element. So we have successfully found 49 at index 8. At this point, we turn our attention to the running time of binary search. Binary search is a logarithmic time algorithm. We can see that because at least half of the search interval is eliminated per step. Which means we need at most log n steps before just one element remains in the search interval. Let's confirm that we do indeed eliminate at least half of the search interval per step. If the search interval has odd length, then we will eliminate more than half of the elements. If the search interval has even length, then the worst case scenario is that we eliminate exactly half of the remaining elements. I want to show you just how good this algorithm is. So let's compare it to linear search, which is the easy way to solve the problem. It simply looks for x at index 0, then index 1, and so on. The plot shows a substantial difference between the two algorithms. In fact, binary search looks just like a horizontal line on this plot. Here is a table which shows the maximum number of comparisons required by binary search for arrays of various length. Note how extremely slow the number of comparisons grow. In fact, if we look at the last row of this table, where we have an array with 1 billion elements, binary search will at most look at 30 of those elements. I don't know about you, but for me, this is pretty mind blowing. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel.